The first do-it-yourself Flogo machine I made worked fine, but it took an hour to make and it used up an awful lot of helium. I wanted something that was quicker, easier, and more economical to use. My solution was to take a 12 ounce plastic soda can and cut the end off. I like to leave a little bit of the lip on. It helps hold the sock on that I'll talk about later. I drilled a small hole in the end of the cap and fit a quarter inch outside diameter plastic aquarium line into that. You want a nice tight fit so the gas doesn't leak out. The other end of the aquarium line is pushed onto the end of the helium tank novel, uh, nozzle. I like adding a little bit of tape here to hold it on so it doesn't slip off. When opening the valve, don't open this up all the way because if you do and then you turn this on, the back pressure can actually blow the tube off or blow it off here, which isn't good. So open this up in small increments, then try it and make sure that the tube stays in place. Finally, I used a rubber band to attach an old exercise sock to the open end of the soda bottle. You want something that's thick and fuzzy so that it acts like a reservoir to hold as much of the bubble solution as possible. I filled up a shallow bowl with a full strength bubble solution. Unlike the uh, large Flogo maker, I found that full strength actually works better. Dip it in, soak it up, turn your valve on, and you'll start getting foam. Now the first couple won't float very well. It's looking pretty good because there's air inside of the soda bottle. But after you purge it out, it should work pretty good. What's nice about this is that you turn the valve off after each use, so you're not using a whole lot of helium. And that's it. I find the kids really get a kick out of this. And it doesn't use nearly as much helium as a full-size Flogo. So, I hope you give this one a try. I think you'll be happy with the results. And as always, thank you for watching. And oh yes, if you want to see many more craft projects like this for children, I hope you'll check my main website at waynesthisandthat.com.